The commutative property. You're probably familiar with the commutative property. A plus B equals B plus A, meaning you can change the order when adding. You've also been strongly reminded that you must not change the order when subtracting. However, at some point later, when simplifying an expression like A plus B minus A plus B, you may have been told to change the order between the second term B and the third term A. So you could combine like terms with the first A and the fourth B. But because there's a minus sign between them, it looks like we're changing the order when subtracting. That's exactly where many students get confused or make mistakes. The explanations below will help clear up this confusion and help you avoid those mistakes. To clear up confusion, we'll test A plus B equals B plus A with different positive and negative real numbers. Let's start with A as 7, B as 2, both positive. 7 plus 2 equals 9, and 2 plus 7 equals 9. So, 7 plus 2 equals 2 plus 7. There's no confusion here. Let A equals 7 and B equals minus 2. Because of the minus sign, we place both numbers in parentheses to clearly separate the signs of the numbers from the operation sign. 7 plus minus 2 equals 5, and minus 2 plus 7 equals 5. So, 7 plus minus 2 equals minus 2 plus 7. The commutative property still holds. Now, rewrite that equality without parentheses. 7 minus 2 equals minus 2 plus 7. This shows that when you change the order in an expression like 7 minus 2, you must include the minus sign with the 2. In general, a minus b equals minus b plus a. At the beginning, we were taught that a minus b is not equal to b minus a, but we didn't yet know what a minus b is equal to. Now we do. a minus b equals minus b plus a. In other words, if you move a number, you must move its sign with it. Back to the problem I mentioned earlier. Simplify a plus b minus a plus b. That minus sign shouldn't confuse you now. Let's change the order. And remember, you must move the minus sign with a. We get a minus a plus b plus b. Now, combine like terms. And we get 2b. Now let me show you what happens if you don't move the minus sign with a. You'd get a plus a minus b plus b. Combine like terms. And you'd get 2a, which is incorrect. Never do that. Let's stick to the right method. And I hope all the confusion is now cleared up. Thank you.